All right, it's your nightly 90. Tonight's topic is guilty by association because my son tonight uh, told me that he has, to have, has a referral. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, a referral in school. Um, I don't know why I, I know what that's exactly called. As a kid, I got a bunch of these things. And I'm not a big fan of them. And so when my son told me he got a referral, I kind of wasn't a big fan. I said, well, what happened? He says, we had this substitute teacher in school. And the substitute teacher uh, saw me with a couple of kids that were horse playing and assumed I was horse playing as well. And I got in trouble, which means I get a referral. And so basically what happens is my son is now in trouble. My son, if you know him, is not a troublesome kid. But here's kind of what I explained to him. I say, look, got the referral. That's so what's going to happen. I said, right now you have a great lesson to learn, which is you can be guilty by association, by being in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong people. Happened to me in my life, happened to him at this point in time. So the lesson I want to teach him and tell you is, you got to make sure that the people that you are around are sound people, sound human beings, because at the end of the day, you can definitely be guilty by association. Whether you did something or not, whether you're like those people or not, if you're around them, if you associate with them, they become who you are. It's like a saying is, uh, if you show me five broke friends, uh, basically you're probably the six, right? It's, it's the whoever you're around, you end up being like. It's kind of the idea behind that, my, that concept. So that's it. Um, make sure the people you are around are people that you want to be like and never Never be guilty by association unless it's good guilty I guess if that makes sense yeah why not anyway share the video and as always good night God bless and go ducks